Exciters, welcome to your Monday download. Uh, today we've got some really important and timely information to communicate out to everyone. And it's not all good news, but there's always a solution, or at least an attempt of a solution. We're going to talk about Fannie Mae. Uh, the last time we talked about Fannie Mae, we talked about their Hoffa program. But we're not going to go that direction today. Today we're going to talk about the fact that Fannie Mae wants to foreclose on your short sale. And uh, all of you that have been doing short sales for any period of time understand that uh, a foreclosure, the closer you are to a foreclosure sale date, the more challenging it is to get a short sale approved and closed. Uh, just simply by being closer to the fact that the bank has already invested time and money into the foreclosure process with attorneys and all the things that go into that, uh, their costs go up and they've already kind of committed themselves to a process or a timeline and so therefore a success ratio when we get it the closer we are to foreclosure you can see the success ratio of a short sale starts to drop and decline if you're a week away from foreclosure auction when you bring an offer into our office um, we get them closed and we get them done but it's kind of a hit or miss it's either going to happen all the way or it's going to go to foreclosure auction and we usually find out pretty quickly so um, Foreclosure postponements are about to become more challenging, especially if Fannie Mae is in the mix, if they are the investor. In early spring, for those of you that follow my blog, you would have seen a post that I put out there saying Fannie Mae is no longer postponing short sales. Well, at that time, we were starting to hear some rumblings. We had a particular Fannie Mae file that went to auction, even though we had an approval. And we dug in, and we talked to managers, and we had heard something to the effect that that's what they're seeing very much, you know, very common, that Fannie Mae is not postponing those foreclosure auctions. Um, however, there was nothing official. It was just a manager or a supervisor at that time saying, yeah, we're seeing our, in our department, we're seeing a lot of that. So um, since then, we've had a lot of Fannie Mae files that had closed, and we hadn't run into the problem again. But just last week, we had another Fannie Mae file where it was approved. It was 10 days prior to the foreclosure auction date, and they would not postpone that, that foreclosure auction date. They said, basically, you have 10 days to close this file. Um, and we were a few days, literally, we were like, ah, we need a couple extra days for this buyer. They've already done their appraisals and inspections. We just can't get it out of final underwriting that quickly. And they said, sorry, we're not gonna postpone it. Well, when you're in that situation, um, as any good negotiator it does if they're in that situation you don't take no for an answer so we escalated it several different places we went um, to Fannie Mae directly we went to the supervisor at the lender and ended up getting a response from Fannie Mae actually through the lender they forwarded our information over to Fannie Mae and Fannie Mae emailed me uh, manager of Fannie Mae and she said it was a really simple, curt email. It said, we're not postponing the foreclosure auction. You're welcome to call me if you'd like. Uh, but the lender is correct. We're not postponing or rescinding the foreclosure auction. We're done with this. It's, it's to auction and we're going to take it REO. Well, we started digging around. Actually, I made a phone call to a, an old rep that I worked with actually at that servicer years ago. I hadn't had him... Um, that I worked with him directly for years now. But so I called him up and I said, Hey, I need some help on this. What is going on? We're getting all this. We're, how in the world can Fannie Mae give us an approval, not even extend it for an extra three to five days for us to get it closed? How can their net change that quickly? What's the deal? And basically, he said, um, Well, it's happening a lot. It's happening all the time now because on August 1st, Fannie Mae came out with a new directive that stated. They would not postpone foreclosure auction sale dates for a short sale, meaning that if the approval was issued, it would be issued good through the day prior to the foreclosure auction, and if the buyer could not close by that foreclosure auction date or the approval date, which is the day before that auction, that they would um, take that file to auction. They would not be postponing foreclosure sales, and it is what it is. So, for example, the one that I just talked about, we had 10 days, and the reason we only had 10 days on our approval is because that foreclosure auction day was on number 11. They weren't gonna give us any more time than that. Um, the one we had in the spring was like 24 or 48 hours. It was ridiculous. Basically, we got the approval on a Tuesday or Wednesday and had to, the auction was on Friday. So it was just a, 
you know, completely ridiculous amount of time. Nobody can close that fast. You can barely get a cash buyer to close that quickly. So, so there's the problem, and there's where Fannie Mae files are going to become more and more challenging to get closed if there's a foreclosure auction date. Um, so what's the solution? Well, there's a couple options. You could stop doing short sales completely, or at least stop doing for, uh, Fannie Mae short sales. Uh, I don't think that's a very good option. If you decide that it is, uh, send the referral over here. We'll, we'll take your, your listing. Um, but um, here's, here's what I think needs to happen, and it's going to be challenging. It's not gonna, there's not an easy answer to this, but buyers are going to have to be much more proactive if Fannie Mae is the investor from the beginning. And many buyers are not going to pay for appraisals and inspections. Ideally, if we could have everything done, on the file, just waiting for the approval, everything completed, the appraisal's done, the inspection's done, the underwriting finished, we're ready for docs as soon as we get an approval, that would be ideal. Um, a buyer is gonna really have to want the house to invest several hundred dollars in doing that at the risk of losing it. There are some buyers, buyers out there that will, and I think that as the list agent, you can't be afraid to bring that up as a possibility. The other thing, and probably the more common, would be for the buyer to get all of their loan processing completely done. And we've talked about this just in, for the, you know, the time frames and trying to get buyers, make sure that we've got a good buyer. Um, but many agents don't take it very seriously and they, you know, they may or may not make any contact with the buyer's lender. But in this situation, if Fannie Mae's the investor, really honestly, it's a waste of everybody's time if the buyer doesn't get all the way through their underwriting to the point that the only thing that they're waiting for is a satisfactory appraisal title uh, and I guess their inspection, they would have the right to do their inspection. But from the lender's perspective, all they need is an appraisal and title to clear it, and they're done. I mean, all of the underwriting is done, all the income has been verified, everything. Um, and those, in those situations, you should be able to close in a couple weeks. You know, if you rush an appraisal and get your inspection, get all that done, you should be able to get that done in three days. And then from there, you just get it over to the lender, they look at it, they clear their conditions, and they get docs out. I mean, literally, you, you should be able to get it done in 10 to 14 days. So um, that really is what you have to do. And especially if you've got a Fannie file and you see an auction date there, and we don't have an approval, and we're getting closer and closer and closer to that auction date, uh, that buyer really needs to determine whether or not they're going to be interested in getting all that stuff done ahead of time. So um, there it is with Fannie. You know, we obviously find out if it's Fannie Mae when we start working with the, with the bank and we get authorizations and that kind of stuff. If you know that it's Fannie, of course, we would love to know that. It helps us plan our stuff. Uh, but be aware. And by being aware and communicating with the buyers, we can potentially alleviate some of the problem that we're finding with the Fannie Mae files and still get some of these closed. I can't tell you how disappointing it is to be at closing. Everybody's about ready to get paid. The seller's about ready to avoid foreclosure. No postponement, foreclosure happens anyway. Everybody's put tons and tons of work into a file that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, so let's work together and see if we can um, offset some of this policy. And maybe Fannie Mae will change it um, as they see their REO numbers start to rise. But it's very possible that they're just saying, you know what, we're, we're willing to take back more REOs so that we don't have to um, postpone files that don't close. And that ultimately is what's causing them to do this is multiple postponements with buyers that won't close. So why are we doing this? We're wasting a lot of time. Let's just foreclose on the property. So uh, there we are. Uh, not a lot of great news this week, but a reality check that we have to know about. If you're going to do short sales, you need to know about this and you need to have a strategy in place as to how you're going to deal with it. So have a great week. If you have questions on this, you want to dialogue about it, I'm open to that. I'd love to do that. I think that we can come up with great plans and strategies as a group. Uh, more than it's a bunch of individuals. So send me your questions. Let's get it on the phone and let's talk about it. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye.